everyone, welcome back to the Jack Show. And look, I got a heaven beard. I can't grab it, though. Um, but welcome back. Oh, my God, you saw it. No, but welcome back to another toy review video. And I accidentally already took it out of the box. Um, but yeah, this is the box. Just like, it's, it's a box. Like, really? But we are going to be reviewing the Jurassic World toy Spinosaurus. Um, which, this is the only Spinosaurus that they make. Um, and I found it at Fred Meyer. Okay, so let's begin with the review. So, the Spinosaurus, um, first off, all of these small dinosaurs, um, have a battle scar. Which you cannot cover up like the Versus sets do. Anyway, Spinosaurus, I think, has the biggest scar out of all of them. And he is part of the first wave of the small dinosaurs. The other ones that are in the first wave are the Stegocerat Stegoceratops, which is a hybrid of Triceratops and Stegosaurus, and Kylosaur, and T-Rex. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me with a picture of T-Rex. Uh, but there was something up with his neck, and he wouldn't move, and it was all crooked looking. So, we went and returned it, so I just kept the Spino. Because, you know, he looks awesome. Uh, so, that's the first thing I want to point out is the battle scar. The second thing I want to point out is this foot... Hang on, let me move this one so that we can only focus on this foot for now. This foot is very, very nice. Very, very flat. Um, see, look at that flatness. And its its toes are spread out very, very widely. Like, there's a big crevice in there where the toe is. And it goes in kind of far so that's very weird. He looks like he's running a marathon. Heh, heh, heh. Okay. Um, <laughs> the other foot is the weird part. This foot um, is has a very weird shape. Look at that shape. And when it stands, uh, I have a carpet right here, so it can't stand on carpet at all. But when it stands, uh, I have it standing on a book right now. Let me show you. But when the Spinosaur is standing, it has a lump on the bottom of the foot, and it stands directly on that lump. Isn't that weird, you guys? But the other foot is completely nice and flat, but the other one's very bendy and weird. Okay, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so the biting action of the Spinosaur is you, you take the tail, well not, yeah, the biting action, you take the tail, and you move it to the side, like this. And he he opens his mouth, and he thrashes his head. So, which is very, very nice. Um, But that's how far the mouth opens when you do the biting action. But the mouth actually opens much further. See? that That's weird. I don't know why it does that. Um, And... So, the Spinosaurus was actually in Jurassic World. Um, so, it was when the T-Rex... I'm bringing this up way too late, by the way. Uh, but, remember at the end when the T-Rex was going like, I'm going to kill you, Miss Lady with the flail? And how he crashed um, into the big skeleton. That was a Spinosaurus skeleton. Go watch the movie again. Pay attention to that skeleton. It's a Spinosaur one. Anyway, so this dinosaur was in the movie, and it was also in Jurassic Park 3, which we all know that. The paintwork is... Actually, no, before we get on to the paintwork, the arms move, both of them move. That's as far as they go down, and that's as far as they go up. And the legs also move, too. They, they can go, like... Look at that split, man! Jeez! <laughs> So, the legs and the arms can move, and the paintwork, we go on to the paintwork now, it's very, very nice, um, the gums, I would have to say, though, if it would focus, the gums are way too big than they need to be, like, you guys can see that, look at how big those gums are, and the, the bottom of the mouth, these teeth back here, they're literally flat, 
they're just a white dot on the bottom of the mouth. And the tongue is a little weird, too. It's sort of painted right here at the tip. It's really hard for you guys to see. I apologize. But up here in the back of his mouth, it's green. Like, yeah, you guys can see it better like that. Look at that. Isn't that weird? So, the eyes just look like they've been stamped on there. Um, and I don't know why the snout is orange. <laughs> I really don't know why. Um, this paintwork is very nice. I don't see any problems with it. The Battle Scar paintwork is very nice. Don't see any problems with it. But, what happened here? Oh, you guys can't see it. Oh, now you can see it. Right there, the back of its arm, probably where the armpit is, there is a splash of red. Do you guys see that? Now, I don't know if that's on all the models, um, but it happened on mine. It's almost like it went under a conveyor belt, and it just went, psh, and it sprayed it with a little brush thing, and some of the paint went off and landed here. And the last thing I want to point out, let me get the box, it shows on the back, there's orange on the tail here. The actual product itself doesn't have any orange on the tail. So, I don't know. Paintwork, 9 out of 10. Paint Overall, the paintwork is pretty good. But I'm not done reviewing the toy. On the back. That's what it looks like on the front. Looks really pretty, doesn't it? On the back, there are screw holes in the back. Now, Spinosaurus actually has the least of them. T-Rex has the most of them, though. But all of these small toys are going to have three or four plus bolts in the side of them. Spinosaurus only has three, no higher than that, which is really good. Um, but the other ones have three plus bolts in the other side of them. So that I don't like. But overall, I'd have to give this toy a 9 out of 10. Very nice. I think kids would love it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will have more of these Jurassic World toy reviews. I They will be flooding my channel after Christmas. So I will see you guys later.